Hello everybody, we are right here, and welcome back to our LP of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous part, we were continuing our little quest, looking for the uh, tears, which are kind of like the memory equivalent in this game. And as we were doing that, we were unlocking more things about Zelda, her time in the past, and Ganondorf's you know, history, that sort of thing. And it was kind of cool, I guess, you know? Uh, this time around, we're going to continue with that, because I think we only have, like, two, maybe three of these left, so we're trying to, you know, attack those. And in fact, as you join us, we are heading towards one of them right now. It's supposed to be up here at the very top of the map, so that's where we're going. And as I try to head over there, Legend of Jonathan is here, of course. Say hello. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm the Jibrip still, you know. We're already in front of one right now. Um, yeah, we got, like... One or two more after this one left. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, as you guys remember, it feels like we're getting very close to endgame stuff. I think I found spot things right there. We're, it seems like we're getting very close to, like, endgame stuff, where it's like, oh, go to the uh, depths, then... Oh, no, that's a cool one. Yeah. Because you know how we haven't really explored the, the depths? It's supposed to be like, oh, you know, go explore the depths or whatever. And if you do, you should, um, you know, find where Gandorf's hiding and all that crap. And so that's what we're trying to do. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's where we're trying to finish off or whatever. So, yeah. All right. So, ha ha, you found me. There we go. Another little guy. We have 12 seeds. So, so that's pretty good. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> dropped a rock on his head. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have, we have 12 seeds. I'll see if I can turn those in for more, uh, slots and stuff. Is this the spot for it? This is what I was. No, that's not it. Damn. Okay. No, that's not it either. Yeah, finding the spot where the tier is, is always kind of a hassle. It's always kind of like, you think it's going to be there and then it's not. So that's always kind of lame. Uh, is this it over here? Nope, that's not it. I always think it's it, because you see how it's kind of like, it has like a little pool. It looks like it's like a little pool of liquid. So you think it's going to be right there and then it's not. So I have no idea what this could be. Middle. Pretty sure it knows where we started. Let me see. We just stand right here. What would be the middle? Because we came from over there, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because it doesn't show us what it looks like until we're done. So I don't know what the middle would be either. So damn. What do you think? Should I keep? I'm gonna go that way for right now. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. It's always so hard to track down where the tears actually at. Because it looks like it's going to be like a little pool of liquid, right? And then you just get close and it's like, nah. Uh... Nope. Dang. Well, as I look for that, you know, um... I was telling Legend of Jonathan last... I mean, last time. I was telling him earlier that not only do we want to do the uh, geoglyphs, which looks like we're close to finishing, but other stuff we should do to show off on, on camera. Uh, we should try to get the the, the ingredients for uh, Isha. We haven't gone back to visit her. I want to visit Isha and give her the stuff so she can make us that like cool Gerudo themed like weapon set. That'll be pretty cool. And then um, uh, you know, there's a lot of depth stuff to do. Want to show that off? Uh, what else? Did I look up those like a really cool thing. Oh, if you talk to the people in um, Skyview Tower, like that area. Uh, they mention that their home, like where they come from, like their village, that it's under attack by pirates. And I actually think it's, it is where one of the uh, geoglyphs seems to be. So I think we might tackle that one last in case there's some sort of like another site that's in that area. But that might be cool to to do that, you know. So, so it seems like there's, there's, we're not going to do like every single um, site quest and everything. It's not supposed to be like 100% run. But we want to show off some of the more, like, um, reported sounding ones, you know what I mean? Some that seem, like, really cool. Yeah, if it's not, like, too much out of our way. Oh my god, dude, where the hell yeah, is this? a huge field, too. Yeah. I mean, at least it's better than the one we had to do in the, um... It was, like, in, like, in the woods, remember? That there was a bunch of trees and stuff in the way, so trying to find the spot was, like, really hard. Bruh, this is... But this is still taking a while, like, where in the hell is the stupid... What area is this supposed to be called? Uh, I don't know. It's all about the north of the map, like to the left. I didn't really pay attention to what it's called, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just looking and looking. 
Because that's going to go to an obvious spot, but that's where we found a Korok. So... Maybe like all the way over here? There seems to be like just like a little branch over here. Maybe this could be where it's at? Yeah, I like that. I don't know if it's because we're really strong or if these enemies just always run away. But the fact that there's stuff running away from us. Remember before everything would like attack us and come towards us? Yeah. So that's kind of funny to see stuff running away from us now. Uh, dude, I am not sure where the hell this thing's at. Yeah, I, I do not Appar see this. Apparently, yeah, what do you say? Of this image, it looks like it's on one of the more outer edges, like not inside of the thing. Yeah, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm on one of the outer edges. So let's see one of these outer edges. Oh, I think it might be over here, actually, yeah. You think so? Pretty oh, yeah. it might be like up there. Wait, up there, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty. You think they would put it in the middle? I think it's on the shoulders. I mean, unfortunately, I don't know what in the hell I'm even looking at. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a shoulder area. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to do its thing. We're going to find out what else, what else happened in the past. And we can't skip it. That's right. He it only shows you that animation every single time. Alright. Where do we begin this time? Queen Sonia! Queen Sonia! Oh, okay. Finally. Finally, it is mine! That's interesting. I actually changed his color. Like, I guess because he's like, corrupting it, I guess? That's kind of funny. Oh, that's kind of creepy. The way it's just like pulsating in his like, hand or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of funny because I would have thought that each secret stone has a power associated with it. So, for instance, like, if I were to steal. Tulens, for instance, it would give me a wing power. But no, it says this looks like each secret stone just like unlocks the power that's already like associated with them, right? I thought that was already established in the first time. It's the main enhanced one's ability. Oh, you're right. Yeah, this is true. It would be like, 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 Yeah, that's because I, I guess you know how every character that you um, give a secret stone, they then share their power with you. But obviously, but yeah, that's why I was kind of, you know, but it makes sense because duh, the reason they have the power is because they share that with their ancestor, that's why. Mm -hmm. It's not that the stone, it's like, ah, this is the wind power. It's like, no, I'm sharing the stone with you because we're both, you know, um, you know, Zoras, we both have you know, that water shield, and we're Karuda, we both have like, the lights. Like, it's super creepy, actually. Anytime they've shown him showing off his power, it's super creepy. That's why a lot of people about this game to be like, super dark, right? Because they're going to have some pretty like, dark imagery that's pretty good stuff. And they just kind of shit, you don't really see a lot of this stuff. And he's like, he's like, higher than he's made. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, too. Because, like, is he summoning these creatures, or is he coming to the He's creating them, most likely. So that's weird, because that means all of these creatures, like, yeah, like, like, he made them. It's not like they just exist, then. And then this also establishes when the, the Blood Moon was made, which mm -hmm. is the first time, too. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, bro, it's too late. Dang. You were too late, Rauru. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You try to control me, Rauru, and you will die knowing that you failed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn, he's a great Steve and everything. Wait, does she? Isn't she dead? I thought she was like, for Tracy, she's dead now. Oh, she's oh, yeah, cool. I was gonna take a picture of me. 
like, yeah, what's she doing? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> she's actually gonna take a picture. Well, it's dumb because by doing this too, then you kind of just let them control Hyrule Castle run too. Yeah, because maybe if Raro had his attack now. But I don't know, maybe because he was a clouded and maybe he wouldn't have been as effective as a yeah, I guess. No, and it wouldn't work there anyway, because we know from one of the other memories that even with all of them attacking him at the same time, Raru basically had to like uh pull the fast one. Mm -hmm. So if he had to attack him now, he probably just would have died now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a good thing that it's all gone out of there. That way he could regroup, think about what they're gonna do. And even then it like barely worked, you know what I mean? So this is probably the weirdest place to even place the memory to, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, being in, like, a, a cold wasteland, that's kind of... Well, it seems like they're just kind of in random spots. It doesn't seem like they're, like, very, like, oh, it has to do with, like, the area. Oh, but it's still a weird area, though. Yeah, 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 I know. And then, um, yeah, it's kind of weird. They seem like they're a lot of border, too. Like, wouldn't have made sense that just depending on, like, okay, the first one you find, that's, like, the first part of the story, the second part, you know what I mean? Well, I don't think it's that. I think it's just, yeah, you have to go in a particular order, that's why. Well, that's not well, that's what I mean. You don't know what the order is, though. So if you don't know what the order is, then she just give them to you however. That's what I'm saying. Because I don't remember ever, they'd ever tell me, like, a certain order did it. No. Yeah, so I don't know. It's weird. Because online, yeah, it has, like, an order. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember seeing that anywhere. So, you know what I mean? Like, unless you look it up. Okay, so now we have two left. As I was saying earlier, there's this one. And this one is where I believe. That's where there's, like, a little village. And that said something about, um, it's going to attack by pirates. We're going to do that one last. So let's jump over here, actually. Actually, hold on. One last thing, actually. There's a creek. You know what we might do? We might do the geoglyphs. See how long it takes us to do this village thing. And then maybe we can do all the great fairy stuff. Because if we're heading towards endgame, which we think, we probably want to talk to the great fairies. To enhance our stuff. Enhance our, um, um, our yeah. outfits and stuff anyway. So that's probably another thing we might show off. You know what I mean? So, we'll see though. We'll see how much we actually show off and how much we uh, maybe like, do off camera and then show the results of and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but for now, yeah, let's go to that area now. And from that tower, we should be able to fly to that other um, memory tier thing. Oh my god, it's crazy when we think about how long we have been playing this game. <laughs> it's been a long time. Let's see, yes, it's gonna be hot right now, huh? So I probably wanna switch to my. Uh, Oops, wrong button. Probably want to switch to my uh, heat resistant outfit. Actually, we don't need all the parts. So let's keep the attack up. I always like having the attack up one. Okay. Alright, so this time we should be heading towards the orange one, I believe. Let's see. We are heading towards. Yep, orange. Oh. There we go. Okay, it shouldn't be too far from here, it's not bad, not bad. Okay, cool. Oh, what am I doing? I'm heading towards that. I'm supposed to be heading towards that. Oh my god, I always get confused. I, I head towards the wrong thing. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Hey, there's like stuff up here too. Look, look at that big old block. Mm -hmm. That's like amazing. Yeah, I think I remember the other game had some mazes too. Who knows how hard those are to complete? You know what I mean? Alright. I am not seeing Geoglyph yet. I'm not supposed to be like in this relative area, like we didn't mark it exactly exactly. But I don't really see anything yet. Oh what is that? Look at that. Those weird like holes over there. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm not seeing a geoglyph actually. Huh. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, dude. But I know we looked at the map that marked it, didn't it? Like, I just sworn that we marked it, because we had thought we seen there was something here, right? Yeah. Open the map. Yeah, I'm just, uh, no boost on the map. Yeah, it would be the one near uh, Theron Grasslands. It's in, uh, what is this? It is it's in... not exactly right there, maybe it's in more... In... I mean, but I still feel like we're high up enough that we should have been able to see something that was the weird part. That's what I'm, I'm wondering, I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's just because it's, uh, it's still kind of far away? 
But I still feel like usually you can at least kind of see it. Because it's like a really huge thing. And I'm not seeing anything, so it's kind of weird. I huh. think we should be able to... Uh, I need that. Honestly, don't we have that little yellow one? Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> we could have made it, you're right. Ah, it doesn't matter. The point is, either way, I'm not seeing anything, so... Right now, I can try to stand and stand from a certain spot and see if I see it in the distance. Because I guess it is still kind of far away. I guess I, I assume we were closer. But even then, I feel like usually you can see it from, like, really far away. And right now, I'm not seeing anything, so... Hold on. Over in that direction. I mean, it's like among those trees over there, I guess? Oh no, kind of weird. Oh. Thought you could make it, I didn't think it was that high up. My bad. Let's see... Yeah, we're almost there. If I can't see it from like this little ridge, then something's up. Let's see. Nah, man. Nothing. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. I don't see anything. Alright, maybe if we get past the fog. Come on. Yeah, see if it says anything about the one in Faron grasslands and why it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, this should be the spot somewhere around here. Out the map real quick. Yeah. Yeah, so we fair on grasslands. It should be kind of like in the center middle. Oh, what's weird is like I'm looking at the map, right? Yeah. It should like be where we're currently standing on like that too. That is really weird. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening then. That is very strange. Yeah, I'll keep traveling around. Let's see if you can figure something out real quick. Have you ever gone to Pulpa Foothills? There's like a tower. Uh, yeah, I mean, I should. I have all the towers. Let's see. Uh, this tower over here is Grudo Highland Sky Tower. Then I have Grudo Canyon Sky Tower. Then I have Pulpa oh. Foothills Skyview Tower. Yeah. If this one here, we should probably do. Oh, I get it, because I'm looking at the map, right? Yeah. It's near the water right there. Like, where we're heading is good, but we have to keep walking to... We already have that one. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Yeah, that one says number 10. That doesn't look like... That's number 4. No, that's what I'm saying. Number 4 is the one we have. Number 10 is the one supposed to be down here. Or is it? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Number 10 said the pulp up. That's what I'm saying. That's weird. It would be, like, right there to, like... Yeah, I mean, we're looking at a map as, as we it's record right these guys. It should be like right here, huh? Yeah. yeah. It should be like here, let's say. So we're still kind of far off. Okay, fine. Let's just keep trying. Maybe we're off, I guess. I still think it's really weird. I still think we should be able to see it. Usually, we were so high up enough, you see it like from really far. For sure. Like, let's just say that we made a mistake. I'm um, kind of it's kind of suspicious, but you know. Let's say it's over here, I guess. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's go up high, we should go see it. Let's see. We should go to see it, it's supposed to be closer to the water. Oh yes, okay, there we go, it's over there, I see it now. That is so weird. It's like the very end, yeah. Yeah. I still think it's so weird, usually we can see it from like the sky. But I guess it's the way it's facing too. You see how it's like facing towards yeah. the water and not like in the middle or whatever? I guess it's that, I guess, I don't know. Whatever, point is, we're getting there. At least we finally found it. That's pretty good. Alright, so... We're about to finish another one. I wonder what will tell us about the story this time. Oh, that was easy. It was right here. Look, perfect. Alright, so it doesn't want to find it, but at least we don't have to suffer having to find the freaking tier spot. At least we found it real quick, so that's good. Okay, cool. Let's see. So how did it Uh. So, as we're recording this, you know, there keeps being news that we might see the Switch 2 this year, all that good stuff. 
I wonder what there is to expect with the next mm-hmm. Zelda, because we know that they said they're not going to need to make a sequel to this, so I wonder what we'll get instead, you know, I wonder what direction the game will, will take, you know. Alright, let's see. This one's in order, because this one is showing, so, like, yeah. that she just died, right? I could have sworn, didn't we see someone out of order? Maybe we were, like, saying it's so weird how it was out of order? Yeah, because didn't we get Ganondorf, like, Apollo, like, oh, saying, so oh, well, uh, I'll join you, whatever. But then, like, afterwards, it showed him attacking, and no. it should have been, like, their way around or something. Before That's you enough, face the demon king tomorrow, all, 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 all. there is something I must tell you. It's just this moment we just decided you. to, like, I don't know, we're on the right track now. That's it. I came. Somehow. I came I'm saying, to I don't, like, It's not fair, because how are we supposed to know what the right track is? You know, but, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, Go let's on. See. When I witnessed what the secret stone did to Ganondorf, at that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. Take you that one and figure it out, Zelda. He's still alive, still yeah, powerful. Just, you figured it out like the moment you saw him. But, okay. He continues to live on, all the way until my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you, and you will. Yeah, it was one of those weird, like, paradox things, because, like, she came from an era where all of this already happened, but she went back in time, so. and it kind of happened it because she tells it. To try. So it's like a weird, like, infinite loop, you know what I mean? So that's kind of weird how that works, right? Like, it was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the king of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my Not people. Long. Even if I must risk my well, actually, life. No, actually, <laughs> no. It's actually the opposite. He's gonna protect his people so hardcore that he's gonna like sit there with his arm being a ghost well, and, <laughs> and I hold him down. Yeah, it's actually the opposite. <laughs> he's like, I'm, not, I'm gonna still be the king of Hyrule. Like, okay, not long. Not long. Not long. I see and all these legendary like, sword men can. with huge beards. I'm like, not for long. Our yeah, last line right. defense for the protect part, yeah. But remember, that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. He's that's a future where you never appeared. Zelda. Yeah, but this but is stuff that I've seen in Dragon Ball. There was a yeah, that's why, it, yeah, like that's why time travel is always like a weird thing because he's like saying, "Oh, you come from a world where like none of this, like you never came here." It's like, but what if like the world she came from is because it was already included that she was going to be here? You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know. That's why time travel is such a weird thing because like, how would you? <laughs> I mean, he looks like cousin it right there from past family. He's like a big ball like uh, But anyway, he... yeah, that's why time travel is so weird because it's kind of like. You know, trying to wrap your head around like, okay, if it's like you start here and you go back in time, but you kind of tell them stuff about from like where you came from, it's like you're like making stuff happen, which meant that like it, it that was part of your that's original timeline. Part, that's a whole different paradox, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a whole. It thing. really would be like the whole trunks going back in time and doing lots. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. But then you know, like if you look at something like Dr- Dragon Ball, it's like, oh, but he's from like literally a different like branch of the timeline. That that's, that's why. Thing, yeah. That's why he goes back to his time. It's not like everything's fixed. You know, everything's still like screwed up. It's like a branching timeline. But then it's like, then what was the whole point of him like doing all that stuff? Then you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just weird. All right. So if everything goes back, back, what is this actually? Hylia Island. It's probably a place where you fight stuff. Hi. I kind of just want to see what this is. Um, it's just kind of okay. If everything had Back to the Future logic, then everything would be saved. <laughs> yeah, that's why honestly I still think Back to the Future does things really well because it kind of does show that yes, if you do stuff to you know events, if you do stuff to a timeline, you're gonna screw up, and like the future you go back to is gonna be different. I kind of like that like a little bit better. Okay, there's nothing here. It's actually just a great place to dive in. But it's saying that your own timeline it gets changed to this. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. He's about to hit the edge. In case you're wondering, I just decided to come in here so we can unlock another part of the map. Because every time you dive in, there's always a, uh, whatchamacallit, not too far away. One of those light routes. Yeah. Or oh, is a light route. There should be one nearby. There is not one. Oh, wow. The one time I was trying to make a point and show that, and nope. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I just. We'll find the light route and then we'll exit. 
That was just really curious. Cause tell me that spot didn't look like there should be something important here, right? Oh my god, I'm so mad. What if this is where Gander's at? <laughs> we just like, spoiled it. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Cause think about it, it's called Hylia Island. It looks very by itself. There's a place to like go into the depths. What if this is literally where he's at? And I just exploded for myself because I'm like, this looks no, important. <laughs> I'm saying, considering that there's no like thing nearby, it would be kind of weird. I don't know. We'll figure it out in a moment once we make some progress. Hold on. He's like right there, right? Like as soon as we like, there's light. He's just like, whoa! What the heck is happening here? Actually, it's like it's like a cave. Like there's like what? There's a giant eel down here, right? Huh. There's actually. It's actually kind of. There's like a weapons thing. Yeah, I wonder what this spot's supposed to be. Cause look, there's like a weapons thing. There's... It's in that direction. That's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm just saying, it'd be funny if he was... No, it's just like a little weapons thing. I don't know what the point of this spot is, but... Ah, oh, interesting. But yeah, let's find ourselves a uh, light route so we can get out of here. I don't know if we're gonna go this way or to the right. So that's kind of trying to... I think to... this is the only way out anyway. Did I look... Option. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you were saying it, right? It's that way. Uh, that was too perfect, right? As you were saying that you thought like that was gonna be the way out, and like, nope. <laughs> oh yeah, we've never turned in our. Oh yeah, we did turn the pulse souls. That's why I have the uh, dark yeah. link um, little uh, tunic or whatever. I wonder if you like the dark link mask too, like the head part. Probably right. Maybe. All right. Gotta admit, at least out of what I've seen so far of the depths, kind of disappointing. I feel like there's gonna be like a lot going on here, huh? Everything. I it feels like this is just like a lot of. I don't even think it's. Like, I don't even think it's like even that creepy, honestly. Too, because people are like, "Oh, the gloom hands are so creepy." I'm like, not really, because. I mean, maybe when you first start, when you're like really under leveled and you're just trying or to explore. Have you never seen it ever in your life. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what's happening. I guess. Maybe that's what they meant, or like, oh, I don't know. Also, wait, no, People no, exaggerate no. a lot too, you know that too. No, and I was just saying, this isn't an enemy from others, that, well, others, other games, other Nintendo games, like, um, a certain one I talk about a lot, where you can't fight it, literally, you can fight these guys. Yeah. And that's the know. thing, whenever you know you can fight something, that makes everything better because, like, oh, well, it looks disturbing, but at least you can kill it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, something I, 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 something I would say was, like, actually pretty creepy. Oh, that's right, we're perfect. Mm -hmm. Something I would say was actually pretty creepy is in, uh, Skyward Sword. We had to do those trials, and those, like, guardians and shit after you. Like, that was actually pretty creepy, because, like, they will just, like, one shot kill you. You have to start everything over, and you can't do anything against them. It makes you, like, you're helpless against them. So it is pretty creepy, honestly. Yeah, you know well, something, mean? when you know you can't defend yourself, that's where, like, uh, that's why I think it's creepy, because it's a threat where, like, you can't punch it, you can't shoot it, or, like, do something. Yeah. But once you know you can do something, that's where it's like, well, why, why should I be as afraid as I was when I first encountered it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. We got part that. Um, did you notice the layout? It looks like it's it, it's like a little island or something. Yeah. I mean, we're underneath an island. Yeah, <laughs> that's really funny. That, but down here it could be totally different. That's that funny. Is, because it could have been like a mainland underneath. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. This is what it looks like underneath. It's just like surrounded by walls and everything. Yeah, it's like the depths. It's like it's it's always inside of the land itself. Yeah. Yeah, like it follows the same um, layout kind of. It's mm -hmm. just you know inverse of it. Yeah, so that means that there's nothing else to do. So that, this area is so totally self-contained. Cause I don't think you can go this way either, which is kind of funny. So yeah, there we go. All right, let's delete this pin. Let's decide where we're gonna teleport to. Hold on, what do we have down here actually? Hold on real quick. There is a smithy, wait, smithy construct. Isn't that what we need in order to um, make the, the batteries that we were talking about, isn't it? Oh, dude, who knows how to do that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, actually, let's go check that out real quick before we um get out of here. Because I, I, I was literally about to get ready to leave, but that just really made me realize that we've been talking about the battery, the battery, the battery, and we just haven't really been able to do anything because we don't have like an area for them to do that. And we haven't explored the depths much either, right? Yeah. But it's already down here. And like, like we had said before, we're kind of heading where we think is towards endgame. We might as well try to, you know, like take advantage of that. So let's take it that way. Okay, what am I looking at? What the hell? There's nothing here. What the heck? Is that on the other side of the wall? It might be, huh? Either there, maybe it's like... Maybe it's like... Ah, damn it. What if it's like on the surface somehow? 
No, because then it wouldn't be marked as being right here. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Was that really just a waste of time the whole time? Because, hold on, what am I looking at? Yeah, because there's not like a hole. No, maybe... I think that means that we have encountered it before. Maybe? No, I think it unlocked when we um, got this, ladder, this last... I don't know, let's just get that. I think, we're... yeah, maybe it's like we encountered it once. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Because there wasn't anything here before, right? But now that the, it's like free, the temple and everything, there's, there's something over here. That's what it was the whole time. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I can feel it. Well then. Link, you ever clean the Master Sword? These are glad tidings. The Jimmy King is surely building his power somewhere in the world even now. Uh -huh. You hold the Sword of Hope, which Zelda left to you. The time of the final reckoning is close at hand. Let our combined might at least at last defeat Demon King Ganondorf. I'll remain here perfectly to this concert body that might be ready for the confrontation. I've already sworn my pledge to you. Call upon me whenever you have need of my strength. Okay, probably behind it. Oh, what if we go up? No, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, the other no, side. this guy, this guy, this guy. Hold on, hold on. I'm ready to produce. Uh, welcome, Minera has formally directed me to provide you with my finest work. I will gladly exchange my special weapons and equipment with you. It'll be up to you to provide the Zonite. No, this is not what I was thinking. This is just you trade it for weapons. Oh wait, this is the guy we first encountered, yeah. We've talked to this guy before. This is not the mining thing. This is not where we get the parts for the battery. Where the hell is that part? I'm so confused. I need more- oh, Let's mining. see. Welcome! I will give you one ancient blade in exchange for 50 pieces of Zonite. No, 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 that's not it either. Dude, what in the hell? How do we get battery pieces? I thought it was gonna be here. We were looking at this for like an idiot. It's not even the right spot either. Yeah, like I just. Bruh. I have no idea. But you know what? This is where we're gonna end it, guys. As you can see, we wasted a lot of time just trying to find some dumb shit. Yeah, honestly, we probably ended up playing a lot of it. But we thought it was going to be one of these uh, mine thingies or whatever you call it where they like do the the processing for us and it just didn't work out. It was something totally different. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we're probably going to have to explore the depths more, you know, at some point when we like engage with Josha and all that. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll discover it then. For now, we're just going to have to keep doing our thing the way we have the battery. You know what I mean? So whatever. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We're just going to end it here. Next time, though, don't worry. We're going to go back to uh, get that last geoglyph, which is supposed to be somewhere like over here. See what's up with the whole pirate situation. And that should be more interesting. So, you know. So thank you, Legend John, for being here. You're very welcome. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.